Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 17 of my Let's Play series. We have some odds and ends to do today. This might be a little bit of a bits and bobs episode. So off camera, or rather in a live stream again, I organized my storage room. So it's not completely done yet, but generally, you know, we got some chests, they have stuff in them and they're actually labeled and things are actually in the place that they should be. I really like this. I think it's worked out wonderfully. Many of you have also yelled at me about my villager situation and I would like to comfort you and show you what I've done over there. I know it may be frustrating sometimes to watch someone play the game and not know exactly what they're doing on YouTube, but I've had a lot of fun experimenting with these villagers. So this right here, this is my Fletcher and you can see I have a stick trade 25 six equals one emerald and I've completely unlocked this one to master and we have an arrow and poison at the end, which I think is really cool. Our other villager is in here and and this, this is our mending villager. So I have mending for 11 emeralds and a book, which in my opinion, pretty good deal. Not the best deal you can get, but this number has actually been dropping the more that I trade with him. So hopefully it'll keep getting better and better. I have been doing this trade and this is what I have so far. So I have four mending books, some emeralds and some more stuff to trade. This Fletcher accepts sticks. They also accept string, which we have lots of string. We have lots of sticks. So it's been fairly easy to get the emeralds and set this whole thing up. Also, if you're hearing noises, it's because I have the, <laughs> I have these below me and there's actually mobs spawning in them. Hello, who's down here? What you doing? So because we have mending, that means I now have mending on my netherite crown and my wings, which is perfect. We can also put mending on our tools now, so let's take these and go do it. So as far as tools go, we have several good ones. The main one that I would like to put mending on though is my netherite pickaxe. This is my silk touch pickaxe. Very important that we're going to be able to mend this one, so. There goes my anvil, <laughs> there we go. So that's pretty much the only one that I really needed to mend. As I get more and more good netherite tools, I'm going to continue putting these mending books directly onto them. Now, I actually have a little bit of a problem in this world. Scooter, I'm out of iron. I'm out of iron. I have a few pieces here and there. I have eight pieces in my inventory, but I don't have a ton of iron, okay? Like it's, it's pretty pathetic. It's not a lot. <laughs> and I really think that it's about time I stop being super poor and, and go caving. So we are gonna start this episode with some good old fashioned caving. And I actually can't wait, I'm really excited. I've not been caving in a little while. I'm gonna take off my elytra for this and put away some of my stuff, get my chest plate back on, get all geared up. All right, chest plate is back on. I think I'm ready to go. I'm pretty sure there's more caves down in our mine. Oh, and there's some iron right here that we haven't actually explored this entire area yet. So we could probably just do that. And because I know it's gonna drive you guys nuts, I'm gonna heal up my pickaxe a little tiny bit using our spider grinder. All right, that should be healed enough for right now. It's only on 370, but that's plenty with unbreaking. We'll heal it even more as we go fortune some coal and stuff. Like for example, right here. This is the perfect way to heal a pickaxe. <laughs> I love it. This was the main area that I wanted to come to because although I have explored this ravine before, I haven't really been through and collected all of the resources from it. And I have not explored any of the caves that come off of the system. So really important, I think, to be here. Whoa, there's grass. I think an Enderman brought, <laughs> I think an Enderman brought some grass down. <laughs> That's very funny. We are going to need a mob farm eventually as well. So lighting up the caves like this is actually doing us good in a couple of different ways. Lighting up the caves stops stuff from spawning down here when we're up above. So if I ever go ahead to make a mob farm up in our village, it'll be great because nothing can spawn in the caves and we'll get better rates in our farm. Oh, I have milk on me again. My bad. Good timing though. Oh my gosh, look. <gasps> it's a mine shaft. Oh my goodness. Yes, I'm so excited. Okay, we are about to explore a mine shaft on hard difficulty. I'm terrified, but I'm also very excited. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. Oh, I've missed caving. Oh, excuse you. You scared the life out of me. Jeez. How rude. Honestly, I was just exploring. Oh dear. That doesn't look good. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna recover from poisoning. You are not, no, I'm good. Okay, hang on, just give me a second. I'll be all right. Oh, there's so many caves. <gasps> Child, no, 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 sir. Two children, 
That's just unnecessary. Come on. Not cool. And a skeleton in the dark. It's enough. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dearie me. Oh dear. I've been I've been poisoned. I've been struck. I hate them. I hate them. I'm not a hundred percent sure what to do in this scenario. Like I guess I light it up as much as possible, right? Oh gosh. Run through, light up. Oh god, it's a ravine. Ha! Huh. No, 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 no. No, sir. No. Ha! Huh. Okay, two hits with the sword. That's not bad. That's totally doable. Oh, chest! Yes! Yes, yes, yes. Name tag! <gasps> Scooter's gonna have a name! Yes! I'm so excited! I wanna take this with me. You know what? This also means that I can grab some shears and I can use them to pick up cobwebs, which we can decorate with. Ah, it's a builder's dream. Okay, what's the game plan? This is a spawner, 100%, that's a spawner. Um, I don't think that disabled it, but... Oh, no, here it comes. Hi! Hi, you little devil, go away. Oh, it poisoned me, of course it did. Oh, yes! Another chest! Another chest! Ah, we're winning! We're winning! If there's anything to win, we're winning. Um, okay. This one's not quite as good as the other one, but I'll take it! What can I get rid of? <laughs> so much random stuff! It would absolutely be my death if I fell down here. Like, that'd be it. I'd be over. Okay, this is the danger area. I really think this is three cave spider spawners. I know that sounds excessive, but there's a lot of web. Like, oh my gosh, th there is. That's literally another one right there. Why, dude? Why are you there? Come on. At least they're easy to kill. They hurt a lot, but they're squishy. Oh, oh I see. Okay, I see. I see why you were there. Okay, can I go under? Do you mind? Need some lighting. There we go. There's never just one creeper, is there? It's, al it's always two or three. It's never one. Okay, I made it back to this like central hub that's kind of burned. Oh, that's a spawner. Oh, that's a spawner right next to lava. Like, really? Has there ever been a worse place to put a cave spider spawner than right there? Really? That's what? Oh, come here, come here. Gosh. Ooh, another chest, another chest. Golden apple, all right, cool. How does this go on for so long? Like genuinely, I've been recording for an hour. I've been in this mine shaft for an entire hour and I have not explored probably half of it. I, I'm, I, don't know how to, <laughs> I don't know how to do this. Oh, gee, is this the surface? This is the surface of, uh, excuse me. We were down, we, and we were on diamond level. We were on diamond level. That mine shaft goes from diamond level over by my mine to Surface level by the shack. I'm confused, but it gives me an opportunity to drop off my stuff, so I'm okay with it. Um. Um. No. 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 Uh-uh. No, I'm okay, actually. Oi! What the heck, Scooter? What the heck? What did I do to deserve this? Genuinely, though, like... Oh, and there's a zombie on a chicken. Of course there is. That's what we needed on top of all of this. Oh, gosh. Okay, I'm swimming. Oh, and there's a trident guy! There's a trident guy! This is not the time. 
This is not the time, trident person. This is not it. Nope. Nuh-uh. My witch's hut has been taken over too? I'm scared. I'm scared. Kitty. <laughs> Will you protect me, kitty? Here we go. Don't you break that door. It's my door. Don't you break that. See, there's an advantage to these trap doors. Look. Look. Look at them. Just look at them. What? <laughs> what kind of party is this? Where's your friend with the trident, huh? Where'd he go? Oh, I found him. I found the trident guy. Okay, well, it's almost morning. Oh, there's Trident Guy. Hey! Oh, this is bad. This is not good. This is not good at all. This was a mistake. <laughs> hey, Skeleton! Give it up. What a dramatic night, huh? You watching? You, you see all that? That was a lot. That was a lot. <gasps> I threw my sword at it. I threw my sword in panic. <laughs> It's not, that was not the ideal panic option. Um, ah oh dear. Ah, oh, ah oh dear. All right, hang on. Let me, let me recover. Give me a second. I did dump off my inventory and, ah, oh, ah oh dear. All right, that creeper blow up was very dramatic. Don't you think, Scooter? Didn't like that, didn't like that one bit. And it's made me realize we need a better place for fighting. And also our cat needs a name. Kitty. You did such a good job of defending this place, you know that? I'm gonna name you Luna. A lot of people suggested that name and I think is suiting to our witchy cat. So, this is Luna. Scooter, come on, leave Luna alone. Scooter, come, come, come. Luna doesn't want your company, I'm sure of it. So, after fighting all of those mobs and bringing them all the way over to the witch's hut here, I think it's finally a good idea that we actually work on having an area to properly fight mobs in those types of situations. Like, what if instead of bringing them over to the witch hut, we had a tower where we could properly defend this whole area and fight phantoms and all of that stuff? What do you think, Scooter? It's a pretty good idea, huh? Let's go get building. So I've cleared out this little area right here of a bunch of the trees, and I think this is gonna be the perfect area to put a little tower. It's kind of on the divide of the birch forest and this little plains area, and it's just outside my village. I see no reason why there couldn't be a little watchtower right on that hill. Seems like a great place to fight mobs. Scooter, what do you think? Scooter, by the way, as you can see, was given the name tag. Absolutely beautiful. Unfortunately, my video of it did get corrupted, so I, I don't have that clip, but it was only like a seven minute clip of me literally giving Scooter the name, so I don't mind too much. I am gonna put the tower, I think kind of right on the corner of this hill, like right about here. So maybe just build it up. Oops, Scooter, can you move your butt a little bit? A little bit in? There you go, thank you. Just like so. This size should work and we'll just go straight up. Scooter, <laughs> you're making this a little bit challenging. I'm not gonna lie to you. Can you come over here? So my plan is to not go too tall with this. Like I, I think honestly about here is probably good. It's got a good view of everything going on. Whoa, <laughs> I love it. And from here, we should be able to shoot any potential mobs. We're not up too high to aim at them. I am gonna build up the base of this structure a little bit. So basically on each corner like this, just building up a little extra kind of bulk at the base. I think this is gonna add a nice design and flair and make it look really sturdy. Yeah, that looks great so far. That's perfect. That's exactly what I imagined there. I do, however, need to go chop down some wood. So uh, off to the mega tie guy I go, I guess. This is the home of your people, Scooter. This is where I got you originally. It feels like so long ago now. <laughs> it's been awesome having a pet dog in Minecraft. Don't worry, I am replanting as I go. I think one of the keys to having this be a pretty awesome little watchtower for myself is to have it be almost castle-like in details, but still have it match the village very much. So I think I'm gonna overhang some crenulations up here for the castle and kind of see how that looks. That's pretty epic. I like it. <laughs> I think it's worked out. It looks good. With a little bit of wood mixed in with this and a lot more texturing, I think this will look great. What do we think of little fence details like this? It might be overkill. I, I worry I'm over detailing things sometimes, but I'm gonna try it. Then of course we do want those classic castle crenulations up here, which I'm gonna do with some stairs. 
I'm debating adding a second layer up here with just a roof over it. So not putting any walls in up here so that we can still see out perfectly fine, completely unobstructed and shoot our arrows. But we do have a roof over our heads for phantoms. So far, I don't hate it. I think that's pretty good. I think that's a nice way to get a little bit of wood in. Hey, cool. All right, I'm happy, I'm happy. All I have to do now is add the roof. I've decided to do this roof in an outline of dark oak to give me some contrast, but I've gone with spruce kind of on the inside of it just to tie it all together. Hopefully this will work out. And then of course back to the spruce for the main part of the roof. All right, taking a little flight down so we can get a good reveal. Ooh, okay. All right. I don't like the roof. <laughs> I don't like the roof. I don't like the edge. I can fix it. I can fix it. I like the tower. I don't like the roof. Roofs are hard. Okay, let me fix it. I'm gonna bulk it up. I don't like the slabs. Let me explain the reason I don't like this roof. We have this very thin half slab coming across here, but the bottom part right here, this foundation is very, very thick. So it doesn't make any sense for this to be this thin. So the way that I'm going to fix this is simply by coming in with some full blocks and just making it a lot thicker. Now this might seem like common sense, but genuinely I know a lot of people struggle with roofs and I struggle with roofs too, so. Hopefully that helps. That's quite a lot thicker now and I think that's going to make all the difference. We might even pop the half slabs out one like so and then what we can do underneath to balance that is I can either put slabs across there or I can go in with trap doors across there. So for example some trap doors just to cap that off. Yeah that's going to look way better. All I have to do is that on all the sides. Easy. Definitely need a quick lantern um, right in the middle here. Where's that? There we go. Bam. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I think that's going to be a lot better. Let's hop down and see. All right. That's way better. I still think there's some fixes that can be done here. It's not perfect. I'm not super happy with that slabs. I think we can smooth that out with some dark oak trap doors, but I'm not sure. I'll have to play with it. For now though, let's work on actually kind of ruining the area around it. And also I want a little, I want a little like tower addition to the side. I like doing that. Like what we have with the lighthouse. What do you think, Scooter? Are we doing okay? So I think for the little kind of shack that's gonna be off the side of it, I'm actually gonna do it on the back side. I think that's gonna make the most sense. So I think for this bottom entrance, I'm just gonna come out barely from the side of it, just right here, and kind of make a little a little something out of some stairs and see see what I can come up with here to kind of connect this up and have a nice doorway in the back here. I was gonna do oak wood for the walls originally, but I, the more I'm looking at it, the more I'm thinking we just kind of extend the cobble out. Not sure. Right, let's get a little look at the side profile. Okay, okay. I don't hate it. I don't, I think the cobble was smart. It transitions a lot easier. I think that's good. I think that's good. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but I think it's good. I think I kind of love it. <laughs> it's kind of good, right? Maybe I can kind of put a slab there to kind of wrap that around a little bit, but gosh, it's really working out. Scooter, what do you think? What do you think of our watchtower? I think it is absolutely fantastic. Needs a little path coming up to it, but that's something we can totally work out. Not a big deal. Of course, we come in on the inside here. We've got some areas for supplies. I think I'd like to put a bed here. And coming up to the top, we have a great view of this entire world. This is awesome. I love it. Shifting gears though now towards the end of the episode, I do think it's about time that we prepare to go get some more netherite. We haven't really gotten any to be honest. Uh, well, we have some, but it's not a lot. It's not a lot. I think we can totally prepare and get a whole bunch more of the ancient debris and netherite scrap. This does mean, however, that I need to be well geared up. So I'm putting on all of my diamond, my best gear. I'm gonna put some gold on as well and uh, let's go in going to be using the string that we got from the spider grinder to get a whole bunch of wool and then I'm going to use that wool to make a whole bunch of beds. Right, off we go on another nether adventure. Hopefully this is not too eventful and I just get what I need and I get out. An update on my tunnel, I, I have widened it. I haven't decorated it but it it's ready to be decorated sort of. <laughs> right, my boots. I look good. I'm ready to go. It's time. Okay, I'm heading down to my usual mining spot. This is at Y15. Sorry about the head hitting. Here we are. 
So today I'm gonna use beds. I've not used beds before with this method, so I'm kind of excited to see how it works. I'm nervous, but in theory, I've been told that doing this, I won't die. Let's just go for it, I guess. Oh my gosh, whoa. <laughs> that is really fun, but really, really, really messy. Okay, um, let's keep doing it, I guess. Whoa. Ouch. Okay, that one hurt. That one hurt. I feel like I did something wrong there. <laughs> I'm not very good at this yet. This method is terrifying to me. I know that you guys have all recommended it like crazy, but I, I really am not gonna lie. I like peacefully just mining for it. I've had so much luck that way. And, and this is hard. I'm sure I'm probably just being a massive wimp, but oh gosh. Ah, it's so loud. <laughs> it's so not peaceful. It's like the opposite of this entire channel. I'm making sure that between each blast, I'm definitely moving to another chunk. So that's definitely not the problem. I'm, I'm not really sure what I'm doing wrong. Oh, I found some. Oh my gosh, finally. It was almost right next to where I was digging though. <laughs> my gosh. Dig around it, make sure I got it all. Yeah, just one piece. All right. Oh, I found a little bit more. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So I found one piece from a bed, and I found 30 pieces by just mining to find a place to put a bed. <laughs> oh my goodness. Guys, I do think that mining is just more effective for me, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I I'm enjoying the bed thing. It it's it's wild, but it's, it's just, oh dear. Not as much as opening up with it, I have to say. I think I'm in the wrong spot for this one. I I all right, moving on. Oop, and a little bit more. Again, just just by mining. <laughs> I was gonna place a bed, but I didn't need to. All right, my netherite pickaxe is at 64 durability, which means I really, really can't really be using it anymore. But um, I'm gonna go just a tiny, tiny bit further and just, just stick a bed right here, just to see if we can get one more piece. Ah, no luck, no luck. I, to be honest, for the amount of wool that I just used, I have 12 left. That's not a lot of ancient debris. I found a lot more ancient debris when I was just going with my pickaxe. And I don't know if that's just down to my method and me being not very good or not very familiar with it, but maybe I'm doing something wrong. I don't know. I, I need you guys to let me know because the amount of people in my comment section who are very, very angry that I was not using beds for the fact that the beds don't seem to be that effective for me, it, it's a little disproportionate. Let me know. I am also keeping in mind that you pro some of you are probably getting the information about the beds from other YouTubers who are attempting it, and I have no idea how many hours those YouTubers spend mining versus the like 15 minutes that I just spent, which is arguably not very long. <laughs> so maybe that's just the idea. Maybe I just need to spend a lot more time. Sun is rising. It's another beautiful day. Look at our home. Look at our tower. Ah, oh, I'm so happy with it. Hello, dolphin. So cute. Always good to come home after an adventure. All right, well, now that our ancient debris is acquired, I guess it's only suiting that we put it in the blast furnace and actually get our blocks. Ancient debris is smelting up into our scrap. Always exciting, always exciting. Whoop, <laughs> that armor stand scares me every time. And of course, once we have four pieces of it, we can quickly just make a netherite ingot. Ah. Oh, it's glorious, it's glorious. And we should be able to get three netherite ingots. Oh my gosh, I can upgrade three things. All right, let's do it again. Look at that, three netherite ingots. Oh, I'm rich, I'm rich. I started this episode with no iron. I'm ending it with lots of iron and three netherite ingots. I love it, I love it. I think the main important thing for me to upgrade right now is going to be my tools and also my boots. My boots are super important because they have feather falling on them. And when I'm building tall things like a big tree, super good to have that. So I think we're gonna do a big upgrade to these boots. First of all, protection four, super important. Definitely want that. Secondly, unbreaking three, super important. Definitely want that. Next up, mending. This is making these boots pretty much as good as they can be, except for soul speed, which is the other thing that I would want. 
So we do have the Soul Speed and Frostwalker enchantments for boot. However, Soul Speed is not going to be able to go on these boots. So what I'm going to end up doing is having a second pair of boots that have our Soul Speed on them. And that'll hopefully uh, help us out with that. So we'll end up with a pair of Nether boots and a pair of Overworld building boots. And I think that's a good compromise. Building boots. Oh my gosh, they look epic. There they are, and they have mending on them, so they're ready to go on our feet. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. It looks so good. The two other tools that we use the most are my axe and my shovel. I know you guys are waiting on the sword, but I've actually would like to do netherite on a looting sword and not just a sharpness four sword. Although it would be cool. Um, I'm not. I'm just not quite ready for the sword yet. But I will go ahead and put netherite on my shovel and netherite on my axe. Epic. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I think another episode has gone by. This has been a really fun and spontaneous one. I didn't plan really anything that I did in this episode, and that was a really fun way to do it. I hope that you guys have been able to enjoy this. Um, it's definitely a little bit different from my normal format. We did a lot of fighting mobs, a lot of mining, and only one build. But I'm really happy with the build, and I think it's a great addition to the world. Thank you so much for watching, everyone, and I hope I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye!